हॅलो एव्हरी वन सो इट्स नाईस टू सी यर आय एम गौरव प्रभू अँड वेलकम टू शटरटर सो लास्ट टाईम इफ यू रिमेंबर आय डीड द अनबॉक्सिंग ऑफ दी कॅनन फिफ्टी एम एम एफ वन पॉईंट एट एस टी एम लेन्स सो आफ्टर युझिंग इट फॉर वीक हिअर आर माय थॉट्स स्टे ट्यून अँड आय विल सी यू ऑन दी अदर साईड सो इट हॅज बीन अराउंड अ वीक आय हॅव बीन युझिंग दिस लेन्स and i have been thoroughly impressed with its performance let's start with the basic stuff so this lens has a metal mount the previous one of the canon f1.8 two lens had a plastic mount and it's a huge step up i feel it brings solidity to the lens even the construction of the lens is quite good compared to the previous one and internally canon claims it has the same optic formula but they have added a super spectra coating which according to canon will help to improve the image quality even further and the apertures now have seven blades within them so what does that means it means the out of focus elements or the bokeh which you get in the photograph will have nice round circular shape compared to the previous one the focusing ring on this lens is very smooth and it feels nice to handle This lens also has the STM focusing mechanism which is quite fast and doesn't makes noise when the lens focuses. I found out the focus of this lens was quite good when the light was good even in low light it did reasonably well but in very dim situations the lens did hunt for focus. But I don't think that's a problem because those scenarios where I found it the lens being not able to focus were very few and far between moving on at f1.8 the lens performs quite well and actually i was quite surprised by the fact the sharpness was good and the details resolved were excellent i used this lens on a crop sensor body my canon eos 60d camera and it offers me around 80 mm when you consider the crop factor of the camera body If you have don't know what is a crop factor you can check out my video on crop factor moving on this lens has a filter diameter of 49 mm i also got a hoya filter for this lens a hoya uv filter for that matter for around 800 rupees that was just for lens protection but i don't think you require a filter for this lens because the front element is deep within the lens and the filter at times cast reflections on the front element which is visible in your photos more so even in low light it at times has this tendency to reflect the light from the filter and that can create some weird or i would say bothersome effects in your photograph so i would definitely recommend not to use a uv filter on this lens and there is also no need to buy a separate lens hood for this lens because the front element is well within the lens and i don't think a uh, lens hood will be highly useful further i did quite a lot of shooting with this lens throughout this week it was diwali week in india and as you can see in the photos the photos have come out really nice i did encounter a little barrel distortion in the photos but that was easily fixed in the post the color fringing is evident but not so it is there but it can be corrected quite easily and i use this lens mostly in low light and at f1.8 i was highly impressed by its performance but at times i did tend to find the images to be soft it did work when i stopped down the aperture to 2.8 or so but still i wouldn't be minding to use this lens at f1.8 because that's why i got this lens and i highly recommend that even you should use this lens at f1.8 itself of course if you have the liberty and you don't need require the bokeh or the out of focus elements feel free to go beyond f1.8 lens what else i can tell you about this lens it's indeed a magic and i feel this is the best lens one can have within the budget of 
10,000 rupees. And I would highly recommend this lens to everyone. If you have a kit lens like 1855 to 18135, this can be a great complementary lens for that lens. You can use this in low light or even in broad daylight. This is primarily for portraiture because it gives you a nice working distance between the subject and the camera. But you can use it even for other stuff. I even use this for street work and the distance it offered me was quite good between the subject and the camera on a crop sensor body. On a full frame, it would be too close I feel. On a crop sensor, this acts as an 80mm lens. So that's why I love it, especially on the crop sensor camera. And there is nothing much to complain about this lens. Just get it, that's it. I won't tell you the beauty of this lens. You have to experience it by yourself. And that's it for today guys. Those are my thoughts on the Canon EF 1.8 STM lens. Till the next time, take care and have fun.